Hey everybody, welcome back to our Verisurf Tech Tips. My name is Matt with QTE. Today's tech tip we are gonna focus on is gonna be datum reference frame using and how to use it with a composite tolerance as well and the benefits of it. So we are gonna be focusing on this whole pattern right here today to show the example. It is a Trupo 14 to ADB. So, and D is gonna be this center boss. And we have our A datum is gonna be the face. B and C are the lines right here. So if we open up my report manager, I have these features measured already. And how we label these is we just go up here and we just label them. So that's gonna be A, press enter. This is my B line. This is gonna be C. And this is my boss I measured right in the center. So now that we have these labeled, all we have to do is go up here and we can grab these circles. And first I want to show you guys, we're at 4.4733 on our X. So I wanna show you guys that this is actually gonna change after we put our datums in here. So we're doing ADB. So ADB, and now if we look at our tolerances, it changed quite a bit. It changed about 3,000 using that proper datum in the center there rather than our ABC alignment. So that's where we can use datum reference frame because we can change this back to, let's say you want it to be ABC. Let's say we want this to be ABC, okay. So now we're ABC and you can see our numbers change quite a bit on here. We're back to almost the same as our alignment. We were three tenths different because on my alignment, I used one point, my target seven, and on my datum reference frame, I'm using the entire line. So we'll change this back to ADB, ADB. And another feature using the datum reference frame, which is kind of nice, is when we're doing our true positions, we can do a position and inside of here, we can use our datum reference frame again. So we can do A, and it's automatically going to, we don't wanna use this, we can just lock Z as well. So it's gonna lock A, B, and Z. So we can see our position is on our composite is one, two. So we can show how this works by windowing all these points again, and we will construct another position, position two. But let's lock one more thing here. We're gonna do A, and we'll also lock B, okay? And if we look here, we can see it's 16 and a half now. It's not 1,002 tenths because we locked that X as well. So if we report these out, we can also right here, we can change these. So since we're doing ADB, we can report it to DRF coordinates. What this is gonna do is it's gonna change our coordinate system to be off of the D. So if you see this, I change it. Now it's only 970 because that's working from the center of the boss out instead of from the edge over. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And if we report this out, so let's say we report these holes out, we're gonna do ABD, we're gonna turn this off. If we report out these circles and we report the positions as well, report, We'll grab that report and drag it over here so you guys can see. This on my circles, it actually references it on the report saying that I use my datum reference system doing ABD or ADB. Customers like to see this here. And then if we go down to here, we can see our composite tolerances for both of these. But that's a little overview of using datum reference frame. If you guys have any other questions or want to use it on different parts where you're not sure this is quite exactly what you want, feel free to reach out. We're here to help you guys. I hope this helped you out. Uh, have a good one.